Well, another X-Men movie and another show-stealing scene from the mutant known as Quicksilver. He's probably the best part of X-Men Apocalypse, but how quick is he going this time? I, I know it's not the same movie, but it's still... If you haven't seen X-Men Apocalypse just yet, don't worry, there's no major spoilers here, and you can find the scene in question in other places. Shh. Don't tell the companies. But in the mutant's latest appearance, he saves dozens of fellow mutants from the destruction of Charles Xavier's mansion. It is a big step up from the kitchen scene in the last movie in both speed and coolness. But how much? This is gonna be one of those Kyle makes a ton of assumptions episodes. Wait, I forgot my marker. There we go. So to approximate Quicksilver's speed, we have to estimate three different things. And those three things are mansion size, distance covered in the mansion, and the detonation velocity. I think even a basic estimate makes Quicksilver one of the most powerful mutants in X-Men. First, the mansion size. It would be nearly impossible to lay out the entire floor plan of the entire mansion in just the time that we have here. So instead, let's assume a giant conceptual square representing the total area. According to the movie, the mansion is an impressive 75,000 square feet. This is larger than an entire football field. Next, the distance covered. It would be practically impossible to track all of Quicksilver's movements through the mansion in the time that we have here, so let's just assume that he covers a theoretical distance inside this theoretical area. Maybe enough to make an X? Speed math! If our theoretical area is 75,000 square feet, then each side of this square has to be 273 feet. And if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, we can get the diagonal to make our X here, which has to equal 300 and 86 feet, making the total X distance that I think Quicksilver might cover 772 feet. I know that we're making some giant assumptions here, but we're probably gonna be within an order of magnitude of whatever the real answer may be anyway, so it's cool. Boop. Lastly, the detonation velocity. Uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. It looks like Cerebro is exploding and that's what destroys the mansion, but how quickly? Well, I have no idea. So why don't we just take an average detonation velocity, maybe around 7,000 meters per second. Knowing how much ground Quicksilver might cover and how quickly it takes the explosion to ripple throughout the mansion, we can get time and then speed. If you assume that the explosion happens at the direct center of Charles Xavier's mansion, then the quickest it can make it to the edge of that mansion is half of one of the sides of the conceptual area that we assumed and divided by the detonation velocity. If you do this with the correct units, of course, then you get how long Quicksilver can be inside the mansion before it's completely engulfed in explosion. And that's just six milliseconds. To cover a tenth of a mile in just six milliseconds, you have to go fast, like mind-blowingly, insanely fast. Here, I'll, I'll show you just how fast it is, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run across the screen. You watch it? Okay, okay, so just watch me. Did you see that? Did you see how fast I was going? No, of course you didn't, because I ran across the screen at 90,000 miles per hour, 25 miles per second, Mach 118. I really did. And keep in mind, Quicksilver does a lot of goofing off and backtracking in the scene, so on average, he has to be moving even faster than this. Now, I'll admit, Mach 118 sounds way too fast for Quicksilver, but it's only four times faster than physicist Rhett Elaine calculated his top speed would be in that last kitchen scene, and uh, explosions move way faster than bullets do. So it makes sense. So 90,000 miles an hour, it's really, really fast, but I did make a lot of assumptions to get to that number. If Quicksilver doesn't have to cover as much ground or the explosion moves much, much slower, then Quicksilver doesn't have to move as fast. But because of the general size of the mansion, I don't think that we're ever gonna be that far off. So Quicksilver is really, really overpowered, and I love it, because science. <laughs> I'm not in slow motion. Thank you so much for watching. There's still one giant problem with trying to move someone away from an explosion, for example, that quickly at 90,000 miles per hour. Um, if you accelerate really fast, that means that your acceleration is probably gonna be more than the acceleration due to gravity, and that's how we get G-forces. So three Gs is 
three times 9.81 meters per second per second. And when your body is subjected to something like that, it, it physically moves stuff around in your body, blood and air. And uh, so at the very least, any time that Quicksilver is trying to save someone, if he's going an appreciable speed, uh, he's going to turn them into a red salsa with hair in it. Going really, really fast is amazing, but what's even more amazing is what your brain has to do just to be able to live at that speed. So humans can distinguish about 24 flashes of light in, success, in one second. 24 flashes of light pretty much look like a continuous beam of light, just like a normal light to us. If you show 23, 22, we can see it as distinct flashes. But more than that, it starts to blur together. So we can see 60 flashes of light, like 60 frames per second, but it looks much smoother. We can't distinguish 60 individual frames. To move at 90,000 miles per hour, you would need an effective frame rate in your head of thousands and thousands and thousands of frames per second. Quicksilver would have to see and perceive the world and be able to turn it on and off at will like a high-speed camera, like a phantom camera. If he was moving quickly, he would have to be able to take 10,000 frames per second out of the infinite continuum of time of the universe and be able to perceive that in a way that would look to us like slow motion. That's a, a way cooler superpower than super speed but it comes along with it. So 